Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I had a, I wanted to do a video response to Berkshire Bacon Lover's Metalhead video because he was answering some questions. And some of his questions uh, are similar to, like, stuff that happened to me, you know. First of all, I wanted to apologize, well, uh, give you my condolences for the loss of your dad a while back because I lost my dad about two years ago, and it's, it's still rough, you know. Um... Especially being as young as you are, you know, because I was like, I was old, 45 or so, when my dad passed. Uh, also, you were talking about your cat, and you said you had your one cat, and he passed when he was 18. I had my Callie that I had, um, she got sick, I had to put her uh, down, well, I had to put her to sleep because she got really, really sick, and she was 18 years old, and I loved that cat. And it was so much so that happened back in 2010. And, uh, 2010, and then my dad, I, I didn't want to get any more pets. My dad vowed we'd never get any more pets. And then after he passed in, uh, June 13th, 2015, you know, I didn't have anything for a couple of months. And then I watched my sister's dog, Alice, for the weekend. And she saw how happy, she was always talking about I should get a rescue cat. And she would saw how happy it was watching Alice that one weekend. She the next Friday she said, "Why don't we go get you a, a cat?" And that's how I got Maggie. And I love Maggie. Yeah. So uh, also about the video games. Yeah, I was a big I I dug Miss Pac Man too. I was a big Pac Man fan. And then the, all the branches of the Pac Man videos that I really liked, or most of them, anyways. I played some of them. I remember my friend Irv Gas. Uh, that's his name, Irv Gass, last name Gass. Um, in eighth grade, we were talking about Pac-Man. I liked him, and then he said, that women's lib will ruin everything. And I just kind of laughed at that. He was just joking around. But no, I liked the, Pac uh, the Pac-Man games. I played the original Pac-Man, of course. That's the one I had most. Miss Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man, I liked that too. We could be a giant Pac-Man. And there was a couple other ones. The ones I never played, the one I never played was Baby Pac-Man. And they had that. I lived in Germany for two years, and that's also related to another story. And they had at this one arcade. I was at the Bremerhaven. Um, I was at five eighty uh, first Signal Battalion, and uh, the station. Uh, I was stationed in Garlstead, but the main station in Bremerhaven. They actually had a Baby Pac-Man game there. I don't know if it wasn't plugged in or anything like that. I never played it, but everyone said it was cool. It was like a combination of a pinball machine and video game. I never played it. I wish I would have. And going back to uh, metal, because that's the main thing. I was I was looking at all the familiarities we have. Uh, you were talking about like in death metal. I do too. And then you were talking about the boom of uh, thrash. They used to call it speed metal in the 80s. And they don't call it that anymore. Uh, but, uh, you know, but with thrash and stuff like that, I was big fans of the bands you mentioned. Tankard. I thought all of you, uh, the, like the younger generation, forgot about these bands. Creator. Tankard, uh, Sodom, uh, uh, Destruction. Destruction actually did a version of my uh, of my Sharona, but that was with a different singer. They did uh, that was on the Cracked Brain album. But no, I like those bands too. That was really cool. It's cool seeing the similarities you know we have and stuff like that. And uh, also, uh, you talk about movies. I know Kitty Friend Trudy, who's an awesome person. You know, she really is awesome. She was asking about what your favorite movies are as a kid and stuff like that. I thought it was really funny you considered like Die Hard and stuff like that an old movie because I saw that in Germany in the army when it came out. Well, no, I, I remember seeing ads for it when it first came out. I didn't get it until on video. And then I saw Die Hard 2 when I got out of, uh, when I left Germany, I was home for a certain amount of time. And then we I remember we saw two movies at the Village Cinema that's a, uh, movie theater that was at uh, in Edinburgh that closed down sadly. You know, and only showed two movies, and there was two Rennie Harlan films. There was Die Hard Two and Ford Fairlane. I love both of them. I don't care. A lot of people hated Ford Fairlane. Andrew Dice Clay's uh, Andrew Dice Clay's big movie, but I loved the movie. So it was cool seeing that. I got a chuckle saying you thought that was an old film that, that cracked me up a little bit. But I just wanted to like do this little. Uh, Video response. I hope you liked it, buddy. I mean, there was a lot of similarities. I'm glad I asked you some neat questions. I got 
it's just like you said, ask me questions. That's like, I, I had no idea what to ask. And then, you know, I started thinking about it and I had some neat ideas. So hope you like this video until next time. Bye, please take care of my legion.